Yeah, good evening, YouTube. It is your boy Zab back at you real quick. But anyways, man, basically this video is to not only answer a few questions, but basically to make a point, a statement, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's come to my attention that a lot of people were somewhat upset at the fact that I put out my last few videos and was directed at the more liberal party. Uh, let me be 100% honest, and this is no disrespect to anybody because I do respect most of your opinions, except the ones that are so... Uh, backhandedly sarcastic that I just felt like it was no need to really deal with you. Now, understand when 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 I do put up a video that has anything to do with politics, I'm expecting a little backlash. At the same time, I'm also uh, expecting people to somewhat agree with my opinion. Not everybody, just those who see life the way I do. Now, people have made statements along the line that you know I should leave it to people that have Ivy League. Uh, you know, that went to Ivy League schools or, you know, people that are uh, a lot more educated when it comes to these particular conversations. Not even these particular conversations, but when you're talking about politics, people figure uh, you should be so uh, well knowledgeable of, of politics that... Uh, and unless you are, you have no right to speak about it. And to be honest, anything in life that has anything to do with growth... Uh, is a positive thing. So whether or not I'm uh, as well versed as a lot of other people, I don't have an Ivy League, uh, uh, you know, education. Uh, I've never been to college. In fact, I'm still uh, trying to complete a, a lot of things in order to better my life. But it doesn't take a genius to understand the way certain things uh, not only move, but the way uh, certain things are in the world. And a lot of things that you see as an individual, you're going to either gravitate to or you're going to move away from. And when it came to liberal views, I've moved away from them. Now, I respect my liberal friends because they're entitled to their opinion. But as far as being able to sway me to move in a certain direction, uh, that's just not going to happen because I choose my own way of life and my own way of thinking. Now, some people have said some along the line since Trump helped out a few uh, prisoners that that's why uh, we've moved that way. Now, understand this. I've never uh, made you think any particular way. I haven't made you uh, uh, or even tried to influence your vote when it came to these two particular parties. I just tell you that from my from my standpoint and where the way I view things, uh, I see it a certain way. And that's uh, pretty much all I can really say about that now as far as like having any type of uh real education when it comes to politics that's not me and that's just you know but i do do my reading i do do my research and understand just as just as easy as you can put up information uh uh that might be contradicted not only not let me let me just take that back not contradicted but uh as well as you can debunk some of the information that I have, I can as well search and debunk some of the information that you have. It's a game. Information is generated by people that wrote it down. And a lot of times when you write certain information, you're already biased uh, towards the other party anyway. Whether it's politics, whether it's sex, whether it's gender, whether it's uh, race, religion, whatever. It don't matter. In a lot of cases, when you do speak of uh, of things, it's something that you've heard or, or, or you have may, may have read up on. I seen one person in my comments said that they read a book uh, and it was, and I know which one you're talking about. It's the one particular politician that was actually in Trump's cabinet. Now, they had a falling out, but if you listen to his story, and I remember when he went on uh, uh, ben Shapiro's show, and Ben Shapiro was basically uh, picking his brain about why he chose to walk away from Trump or I don't know if he was fired or whatever but he didn't see eye to eye on a few things but it, the main thing that he he wanted to point out was the fact that Trump wasn't a, wasn't a, a staunch conservative that he had that he wavered in some things but what really I noticed what he really wanted to point out was the fact that when it came to Iran that that uh Trump Trump did certain things in order to try to, in the future, get some type of backdoor deal. And this is coming exactly from the, the man's mouth. And that's why I say, like, when it, uh, I've told people from in a lot of different ways that Trump was not actually a real conservative or a real Republican, but that's who he chose to float with. Excuse me. That's, that's who he put his, you know, he put his lot in with. So it basically, he's a, a conservative. Uh, now, whether he's came with some back back 
you know backdoor deal as far as like with china in the future or whatever uh that's yet to be seen and to that's proven i mean what can be said it's just like biden the reason i'm not on biden is just certain things that he hasn't did and certain things that he refuses to say now people like to come on here and and, and get at me about you know your all your information is wrong no this is the same information that you're reading from except i got other sources to where i can dig a lot further now you're going off Google and things that you've read on Wikipedia. Do your real research and understand that not every book is, is going to tell you the whole story. They're geared towards particular parties. So if I wanted to slander the right, then I would write books according to that. I would write books that may not uh, want to come off like I'm outright disrespecting this political party, but I, I'm going to write certain things that will make you think a certain way. They've been... Uh, in, in every case, no matter what side you, you choose to fall in, they, they all do the same thing. They write things that, that push a certain narrative and that make you uh, bias against the other side. Now, with all, that, with, with, all, with all that being said, you choose to follow whatever side you want. Now, people call me, they'll say things along the line, maybe I'm stupid or illiterate, that I'm, I'm unable to comprehend uh basic things as far as like what what party is 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 really for the people and which is it really to be honest none of them are for the people but it's the lesser of you know okay there's certain things about th these people that i like they might have all this but it's just this that I focus on because this pertains to me. The same with the left. Now, you can say what you want, but you can be like, okay, well, their policies here, their policies here, but what about all this pedophiles and all this that's, that's being did? Or do you overlook them? Most likely because you're only paying attention to particular, uh, particular policies that you like. That's what you gravitate to. So you'll blind yourself to everything going on and focus on that. Now, if I'm doing the same, I mean, who's to, who's to say who is right? Now, that's all I'm saying. Like when it comes down to it, man, you don't have to have no Ivy League e education in order to comprehend po uh, politics. And me not being able to speak about it is ludicrous. It's my channel. Now, if you choose not to pay attention, you choose not to pay attention. Now, I don't debate people because I'm not a debater. You know what I mean? If you really want to debate people that are skilled at that, you find them and I'm sure they'll debate you. You got Ben Shapiro, you got a lot of other ones. Real politicians, not even politicians, but real people that focus primarily on, on, on politics. B debate them. I don't debate. We can have a conversation and we'll agree to disagree. And that's basically why I put certain content on my channel because I don't expect you to agree with, agree with everything that I say, but, you know, it, at least give me a... Uh, a fair chance to explain why I choose to to and, and and in truth I really don't have to explain but you know when you're dealing with people that are just as knowledgeable as you are maybe even more knowledgeable you want to engage with these people you don't want to push them away because then it's like you're working with emotions you're not there's you 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 refuse to accept the fact that there's things that they might be able to uh, you know uh may I won't say sway you but Things that they might be able to teach you. Like, I'm sure there's a few Democrats on here that can actually uh, give me, I won't say a run for my money, but they can actually uh, teach me things. And I welcome that. But, you know, that's the one thing about me. I'm not close-minded. I may choose whatever position I choose, but that's according to the way I feel. I can't make you feel a certain way about something that you may not feel, feel, feel akin to. You know what I mean? It's just as it, simple as day. That's like... Uh, you know, I, that's like me telling somebody that since you didn't grow up in the inner cities, you can't go there. Like as far as like cops, you know, oh, you can't go into inner city because you didn't grow up there. So you have no right to tell anybody nothing or to speak about what's going in the ghetto. But that would be wrong because a lot of them are constantly circling the ghetto and in and out of the ghetto. So they see the way things work. They got their informants and all this other things that tell them exactly. So they're knowledgeable to it. They're not just book smart. They go out on the street and they practice what what they've learned that's that's the difference and i could never tell them just because they're not from my neighborhood or any other gang that they have no right to speak on it that's their community and even if it's not they're working that community so the same as a politician they know nothing about a, a, a lot of neighbors that they're in but they gotta go out and meet the people and engage in conversation with actual people that's what politicians do and and the reason they do that is in order to gain the vote so by me coming on here and trying to better myself and be more knowledgeable subjects uh, i would expect it to be 
uh, more uh, uh, well receiving. You know what I mean? For people to actually look and be like, you know what? This dude could be like everybody else talking about gang life. And, you know, yeah, I can speak until my, my face turns red, which is never going to do that about people and why they shouldn't join gangs. But that's not my calling. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, whether you choose to in in indulge in certain activities, it's a choice of your own. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown man. They're a grown man. Now, as far as me talking to youngsters, I've said a million times that it's not worth it. But once you're already involved in it, all you can do is live it. Because there's nothing that you can say that really will take them out of it. And, of course, you'll find some youngsters that they really weren't about that life. And not that they don't have heart, but they just really didn't want to get involved. And just due to certain circumstances in their life, they chose to go that route. So those are the ones you were able to talk to and persuade to just move away from it. You know what I mean? But you also got to be a little bit more cautious because going at somebody to make them get jumped out of the gang can also get you killed. That's the street thing. You don't poach off of That's like you trying to get somebody to get into your neighborhood from another neighborhood. You know what I mean? It's just you don't you don't do certain things. But uh, anyways, with that being said, like I said, for the people that are on my channel for politics, you know, I welcome the discussion. Now, when you get disrespectful, I'm just going to ignore you. I may answer a few of you, but for the most part... I just ignore you. We don't have to see an eye to eye. We can agree to disagree. But at the end of the day, you need to be respectful. It's just like that. I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to uh, comment on your race. I'm not going to comment on whether you're gay or straight. I'm not going to do anything on that nature. You choose to follow me if you choose, you know. Uh, but understand on this channel, I will give you exactly how I feel I need to give it to you. And if it's not well received, then whatever. But as long as I'm continuously trying to better myself, that's all I'm really worried about. And on that note, I'm your boy Zod. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your night and do what you do.